Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we'll be checking out the Unreal Engine 5 Matrix Awakens demo game that is actually released on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You can go ahead and download the full template project that includes, you know, all of the different vehicles, essentially the entire game, all the source code. Now it is over 80 gigabytes. So if you don't want to go ahead and do that, this guy on Twitter actually went and packaged the whole game so that it's reduced to 18 gigs um, that you can actually just download the demo and play it on your computer uh, if you want to go ahead and test the performance. And I'll leave that link in the description below. Now to get into the actual demo here, I'm actually running this on my PC, which currently have a RTX 3070. So you guys can see the performance of the demo here running on my current hardware and I'll leave the rest of my computer specs in the description below so if you guys want to check that out and basically this is uh, actually the small city demo level um, there are I think three different levels that you can check out the main two being the larger uh, city demo level because the performance in the uh, big city map was more or less like 20 or so frames a second whereas this smaller map is a lot more playable in terms of frame rate so yeah there's a lot of different features in this demo and you can see here some of the different car destruction as well as just this really big city map um, I can give you guys kind of a bird's eye view so if I actually exit the vehicle here you can run around, uh, you have a lot of NPCs as well. Uh, the NPCs are all using metahumans, so they have um, custom clothing, hairstyles. Now a neat little thing about all the different assets in this demo is that you can actually use this for your games or for whatever project you want to use in Unreal Engine 5. You don't have to worry about any licensing or anything like that, you can use all the different car assets, the buildings, the city props, and even all the characters. And the nice thing that they did was they actually split up all of the assets in this demo to separate marketplace asset packs. So if you don't want to download the full 80 gigs that this demo has to offer, you can just head over to the marketplace and download only the cars or only the buildings or just like the city props, like the uh, things that you see on the sides of the streets. You can download all of those separately instead of having to download the full 80 gig project. So really nice that they gone ahead and done that. As far as the controls, I can hit X on the keyboard. And this actually lets you fly around the level. Now this Matrix Awakens uh, city demo level actually does a great job of showing off some of the new features of Unreal Engine 5 such as Lumen Global Illumination. So this entire level is basically lit by a single directional light as well as some ambient emissive lighting from the building windows and street lights and things like that. And the other feature is Nanite. So all of these buildings have insane amounts of detail in them. So I can actually zoom in on, say, this building in particular, and you can see actual close-up detail in the brick. Oh, this one over here is another good example. And this is all actual mesh. So if I press F2, I can show you the wireframe here. So you can see all the different polygons and triangles that make up the detail in just a small portion of this level. So again, you can see all the different sculpted detail in this brick, making use of Unreal Engine 5 Nanite, which allows you to render billions of triangles in your scene while still maintaining a decent frame rate. Now, a lot of the buildings in here are very unique. So no two buildings basically look alike. Okay, so you have a lot of different variations in terms of the actual ground level of the buildings. You have the sidewalks, some of the park benches, and then over here we have different entrances over there. You know, these different windows and doors. And there's a video on the Unreal Engine official YouTube channel that you guys can check out that details all the technical 
hurdles that the team had to uh, overcome to create all of these different custom buildings so that no two buildings basically look alike. And it's actually really interesting what they did in terms of how they combined custom meshes because if you didn't know, all these meshes are basically modular and they also have a lot of custom detail like all these little sculpted patterns and things like that. So if you look at some of these entire buildings as a whole, you're going to notice there is a lot of rep repetition. And that's because, again, there are modular assets. So they took a chunk of the building and basically copy-pasted it to create the entire mesh. But they used different variations of walls as well as window frames and things like that to make the buildings look different so that it doesn't look like an actual generic city. So yeah, those are the buildings. Now, you're going to see there's a lot of stuff going on here with like the traffic as well as the actual AI walking around. And the team over at Epic had to create a brand new system to handle all of these AI units, which is called the Mass Crowd Simulation. And again, on their channel, they do a really good technical breakdown video of how this works. But on a very basic level, you essentially have these little lines uh, that define where the cars should drive as well as different zones of where the AI should walk. So for example, the AI can walk um, across these crosswalks as well as on the sidewalks. So all of those paths are essentially defined and it's all very lightweight uh, so that you can simulate, you know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of these different AI in your game at the same time. So if you actually hit O, we can look at some of the different debugging systems in here. So down here in the world settings, under crowd and traffic, we can turn on the visualization. And this shows us all of the different uh, AI uh, that's being simulated in the game currently. So you can see it goes as far as I can see up in the distance. This is a very basic overview of how you know, the system works. So the green represents the active uh, cars moving around. The blue is the static cars that the player can drive and interact with. And then these white cubes are the NPCs that are walking around. So there definitely is a lot of stuff that's actually going on in the back end. And I'm actually really interested in looking into how this entire system works. Another cool thing that you can actually do is you can change the rotation of the sun and you can make use of Lumen to dynamically change the lighting in your scene in real time, which really works well for open world games. It also comes with a night mode, so you can enable the night mode and you can see what it looks like all the buildings have this actual emissive lighting. If we go to the actual ground level here, you'll see that uh, the light reflects from the buildings onto the streets and onto the cars as well, which again is a nice feature of the Lumen, Global Illumination. But yeah, that is basically the Matrix Awakens demo. Again, I'm running this on a 3070 and I'm averaging around 30 frames a second with some minor dips. Like I said, this is the smaller version of the map. So there is a larger version that doesn't really run well on my 3070. Again, you can download this for free um, on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. It is 80 gigs, but like I said, if you want that packaged uh, version of the game that you want to test on your system to see how well it would run, I'll leave that link in the description below. There's a lot of cool tech to dig into in this demo, so if you guys want to see more videos about that, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so you stay up to date on my Unreal Engine content and tutorials. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.